All right, this is fifth grade, module six, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are going to be generating patterns. They're going to be drawing the points on the lines. And then they're going to be looking at how those lines relate to one another. They're going to be comparing and contrasting the rules with the tables, with the graphs. We're kind of putting a lot of stuff together. And all of this is leading our students towards the ratios and proportions that they're going to be learning in sixth grade. So let's get started. So we've got these two rules, and we're going to fill in the tables for the rules, and then we're going to graph them and see how they look and compare them and contrast them. So let's zoom in, and let's take a look at this rule first. And it says, okay, um, y is 1 less than x. Now they've given us the x values, so all we have to do is use the rule to figure out the y value. So the y, if y is 1 less than x, when x is 0, y is, I'm sorry, I gave it away. When x is 1, y is 0. When x is 4, y is 3. When x is 9, y is 8. And when x is 16, y is 15. And so our points over here, our ordered pairs, become 1, 0, 4, 3, 9, 8, and 16, 15. So there are our ordered pairs. And now we're going to do the exact same thing for line B. But now we have a new rule. y is 5 less than x. And again, we've been given our x. So when x is 5, y is 0, because it's 5 less. And then we've got when x is 8, y is 3. When x is 14, y is 9. When x is 20, y is 15. And so now we write our ordered pairs here, and we've got 5, 0, 8, 3, 14, 9, and 20, 15. All right, so we've got those ordered pairs, and now we're supposed to graph those on our line, on our graph over here, our coordinate plane. All right, so let's start by doing this one right here. So 1, 0, and um, let me get the fat pen here. Okay, and I'll do it in blue. Okay, so 1, 0 is going to go right here. 4, 3. 4, 3 is going to go, let's see, 4, 1, 2, 3. It's going to go right there. And then we've got 9, 8. So 9 and then 8. So 9, 8 is going to go right there. It's kind of tricky on this little computer thingy here. And then 16, 15. So 16, 15. Um, I think I'm going to cheat. <laughs> Check this out. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to put a dot at 16, <laughs> and then I'm going to just grab it. I'm going to move it up, and 16, 15, and let's see, when do I stop at 15? Right there. So there's my line, and really, I should use an, um, a straight edge to make that line, uh, but I can't do that with my little computer thingy. So I'm just going to do the best I can to make a nice straight line right there. Boom. There's my line for line A, and I'm going to label it A. So now we're going to do the same thing for B because it says so. So I'm going to do, oh, let's do it in red. So I'll get my red, and uh, let's see. So first point is 5, 0. Well, that's pretty easy. That goes right there. Boom. Done. And then 8, 3. So 8, 1, 2, 3 is right there. And then we've got 14, 9. Now it gets a little tricky, so I'm going to kind of cheat. And then I'm going to raise that up to 9. That looks about it. 14, 9. And then our next point, oops, our next point here is 20, 15. So 20... And then I'm going to raise that up to 15. There is our point. And, of course, I'm going to draw that using a straight edge, sort of, because I don't really have a straight edge. I can't on the computer. So I'm just going to kind of go straight, 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 straight. And there is our line. And, what, and that's B. That's line B. 
And now, the idea is, let's compare and contrast. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. What do these lines look like? Well, they look parallel is the ideal. They never meet. They're like train tracks, constantly going up and right, diagonally like this. They are parallel. They're always, they always appear to be the same distance apart. They will never meet. So that's our big comparison and con contrast. Now, if we wanted to, we could also look at some of the other questions. The other question is, based on the patterns you see, predict what line C whose rule is y is 7 less than x, what would that look like? So if we had another table, here's y is equal to x, oh, no, y is 1 less than x, here's y is 5 less than x, what would the line look like when it y is 7 less than x? And we're supposed to kind of hypothesize. What do we think? our line would look like? Well, interestingly enough, our line would probably look like, I'm going to say it, make your guess, it's going to look something along the lines like this. All right? It's going to look something like that. And that's what we want our students to see. So now that you got the idea of what this overall problem is like, we just have another attempt um, only this time we're going to be dealing with multiplication, and in, in this case, third, which is like division by three. So we're going to be multiplying by three and multiplying by a third. So I'll, I'll kind of zip through a little bit of that just to help in, in case uh, you as a parent are not quite sure what the heck we're talking about here. So it says y is three times as much as x. So you've got your x's. We're going to multiply by three. And so, really quickly, just multiply each uh, x value by 3, so that becomes 0, 3, 12, and 18. I multiplied each x value by 3, and so our ordered pairs, 0, 0, 1, 3, 4, 12, and 6, 18. And of course, at some point, we're going to plot those on the graph. And then right here, on line F, Y is a third as much as X. So really what we're doing is we're taking our X value, multiplying by a third, and that is what gives us our Y value. But a shortcut for multiplying by a third is to divide by 3. So 0 divided by 3 is 0. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. So Eureka Math chose carefully some nice numbers so that when we divide by 3, we got nice whole numbers. And so we've got this, these as our ordered pairs. And then, ideally, what you're going to do, parents and teachers, is you're going to guide your students towards graphing everything over here, and looking at how the two lines compare. And then, once we know how the two lines compare, uh, then the idea is to make some predictions. Once you think you know what those lines look like, make some predictions based on what you think these other two lines might look like. And that's the game. And really, it's not a big deal if students get their prediction wrong at this point. Uh, this is all uh, laying the foundations towards a deep understanding of sixth grade ratios. And that wraps up fifth grade module six, lesson nine. We're looking at patterns, we're plotting them, and then we're comparing and contrasting.